I don't want to be with the average man. The man that I want is someone who is understanding of that. And if that's asking for too much from the male species, then I, I must be better off alone then. I don't think I'm asking for the impossible. You literally just said that exotic dancers, lawyers, whoever, you love who you love. Right. Who you're drawn to is who, who you're right. drawn to. The average person is not going to want to make that, make that jump. And that's okay, because I'm not talking to them. I don't need anybody average. I'm not average. As the wife of an average man, I'm here to tell you that Brittany Renner probably doesn't even have the choice but to say that she doesn't want to be the wife of an average man. Most of average men are probably willing to spend a night or two with her, and that's probably it. I don't think that anyone is thinking about wifing her. And all of those high value men that she thinks that she is designed for, they're not gonna want her either as a wife. Let's not judge her though. Let's take a look at her social media, reflect on what she is known for to the world. Not her hometown, to the whole world. She has booty pics all over her Instagram. I don't know if she has an OnlyFans, not my business. She has a short temper. She is known for targeting young athletes and she has a pretty masculine personality. Besides doctors, lawyers, all of these top earners, these people have an image to protect a reputation to uphold. And the last thing they need is a woman who doesn't know to protect her peace, who doesn't know how to follow a man's lead, but damn sure knows how to party all the time, knows how to drink, and knows how to pose in front of the camera. The only way Brittany Renner would be able to find a husband, she would have to delete all of her scandalous pictures, she would have to dress normal, she would have to stop acting like high body count is something normal, because girl 35 is up there. Okay, she would have to stop dancing on a man's lap on a podcast and she would have to stop being so masculine and rather work on her femininity. But you know what, girl, there is so much that you would have to change. I would love to give Britney the benefit of the doubt, but since her looks are her currency, it's probably going to be hard to do all of those changes. But at the end of the day, I do believe that she is a good person, but it seems like the evil spirit of Jezebel is just trapped in her body. So good luck from me to you, baby girl. And if you do need some consultation or some advice on how to be more feminine, send me a DM.